In the middle of the night, when all was quiet, he was there alone and his thoughts troubled him. So quickly he gathered his cloak together and he ran, and he ran to a particular place in the city where he met a very special person who listened to him and spoke to him and gave him just what he needed. And it was the middle of the night. This all took place in one of the most famous parts of the New Testament, John chapter 3. I'm talking about the meeting between Nicodemus and Jesus. Hi, my name is Dave Walker. Um, I'm the pastor of Elim Church Romsey and we do a thing on Wednesday called a Midweek Connect and we're going through the Gospel of John um, and, so, and this week I'm talking about John chapter 3 verse 16. I know it's something I've probably preached on before in churches and you've heard it a million times but I want to go over it in a different way today in a way that will inspire you as a Christian as well as inspire somebody who is not a Christian. I want to read from John chapter 3, not the whole bit, but uh, we'll start from the top and see where we go. Stay with me. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, the Pharisees or the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you're a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Surely he could not enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. And we're going down um, a bit further now, and he's talking to him a bit more about various aspects of, of the correlation between what the Jews believe and what Jesus was trying to explain. And we go down to verse 12. I have spoken to you of earthly things and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things, no one has ever gone into heaven except this, uh, the one came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, the Son of Man must also be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Wow, and here's the best bit, the most famous verse in the Bible, which today I will um, explain in a way that, uh, that will encourage you as a Christian as well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This all happened in the middle of the night. Um, just the last um, few days, my wife and I and my daughter went to London and we walked in front of Buckingham Palace. And it allows me to uh, recall a moment where, where the, the late queen and her sister, Margaret, were in the palace when the, the war had ended and uh, they heard all the commotion outside and they wanted to go out there in the middle of the night and just sample up the atmosphere um, where people were celebrating the end of the war. And they slipped out in the middle of the night and went there. And this is what Nicodemus did, not obviously in London, but he went out in the middle of the night to, night to, to, to meet Jesus. He'd already heard about Jesus and he was a member of the Jewish ruling council. They weren't Christians, but he wanted to know if it was true. His thoughts troubled him and he, go, he went out and, and Jesus said to him, you must be born again. What's being born again? I once knew a man called Kevin in the area of Derby where I used to live. And I remember some people talking about Kevin on the bus. And they said, have you heard what's happened to Kevin? Kevin goes to that church now. He's with those Jesus people. And I'll tell you something. I don't think I was a Christian at that point, but I was jealous. I was envious. Kevin had sought something out. He'd run and he'd found Jesus. And he talks here a bit further down. It says in verse 8, the wind blows where it pleases. This is talking about God's Holy Spirit. 
for us as Christians, where that we can be guided by the Spirit. So what is this new life? What is this thing that Nicodemus ran out in the middle of the night to find? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for everything you feel guilty for, everything you feel ashamed of, or whatever that you've done wrong, Jesus has paid the price. You've got to do something. You've got to do what Nicodemus did. And that's go and meet Jesus and say, Jesus, I accept your sacrifice on the cross. See, because there'll be somebody who won't. It mentions early on there, he said, Nicodemus says, we know that you do these miracles. So there are people who are aware of what God does, aware of the, the miraculous nature of Christianity. And yet they just deny it. But Nicodemus had had enough. He's thinking, I'm not wavering between two opinions. I've got to meet Jesus for myself. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him, gives their heart to him, will not perish but will have eternal life. I became a Christian on the 3rd of December 1986. And I remember walking away from the venue where I gave my heart to Christ, thinking I have now got eternal life. I have not looked back since. I went to Jesus in the middle of the night. This was a meeting, a church meeting that was taking place quite late and it was in the middle of the light. But what I, but I want to challenge you today in two ways. Number one, if you're not a Christian, I dare you, I dare you to give your heart to Jesus. I dare you to just not worry about what, what other people think, think of you. That's what Nicodemus did. He, he didn't worry and he went to Jesus in the middle of the night and he gave his heart to him. But something else, if you are a Christian and you're in the middle of the night and your thoughts trouble you, I dare you to take Nicodemus's example and to run to Jesus in the middle of the night. In other words, pray, because you never know what God will do. When Nicodemus went to Jesus in the middle of the night, he had the greatest conversation which changed his life. And we know that Nicodemus continued to have a walk with Jesus. Jesus saves from hell, saves from per, uh, punishment, and gives you a genuine uh, quality of life and a total assurance of eternal life. I dare you, I dare you as a non-Christian to run to Jesus, and I dare you as a Christian, in the middle of the night, when your thoughts are troubling you, just go to Jesus, speak to him, listen to him, hear what he's gonna say to you. Because like Nicodemus, I guarantee you that if you give him time, he will change your life. God bless you, thank you for meeting with us. As I said, my name is Dave Walker, I'm the pastor of Elim Church, Romsey. We look forward to seeing you at church this Sunday. Hey, we've got a baptism. Somebody who gave their heart to Jesus, like Nicodemus, um, is being baptized on Sunday. You're welcome to come along. We're serving tea and coffee as well. We look forward to seeing you this Sunday, 10.30 a.m., Elim Church, Romsey, Middle Bridge Street, your local church. Um, and there'll be a great welcome welcome for you come along as you are thank you for joining us for midweek connect from Elim church romsey today god bless you